Oh, we got to be on top of our game today because we're not just doing this this edition of the hit list for ourselves. We're doing this for America. America. So here we go. Mr. Jericho, if you don't mind, please take us away. You just made the list. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It is time once again for the hit list where myself and my co-host here decide to take it upon ourselves to make a top three list each of one particular genre or subject in heavy metal. And in honor of the fact that it is almost the 4th of July, we are going to be talking about the most American metal songs ever. The real criteria for this list was the songs had to be either about America, had to be by, like, completely American bands, or... They had to symbolize something in American history. Yes. And for those who are watching the video, I am wearing sunglasses because I am actually a little sick and my eyes are a little sunlight sensitive and light sensitive. I'm glad that you're not just Corey Harding this. No, I'm, yeah. no, this is an actual reason. You're not trying to keep track of the visions in your mind. You're actually no, I'm sick. Sick. All right, then. <laughs> so uh, you started it off last week, so yes. I will take the first stab this week, and I'm going to start off with probably the most recent one on either of our lists. Off of their newest album, The Grinding Wheel, and it is an awesome track. There's not a lot of tracks on The Grinding Wheel that I don't like, but this one is so uber patriotic and so unbelievably. It's got all the cliches. It's got your, these colors don't run. It's got uh, uh, Born to Die, Not to Lose. Like it's a very, very inspirational, gung ho type song. Yeah. It's a simple answer to a The one thing that I think I love the most about it is that they kind of put a twist on the Patrick Henry quote, and uh, they repeat a couple of times, uh, you can give us liberty or we can give you death, which it works. It, it works. It's a little bit more aggressive than the original quote, which was more of like, I am going to die for my country. It's like, no, you're going to die because I'm angry. That's it's kind of like that saying from Patton, you know, don't die for your country. Make that other make the other people die, die for their theirs. country. Thank you, Bobby Blitz, for reminding me that I really need to watch Patton again. <laughs> All right, so uh, what is your number three? My number three is Metallica's Don't Tread on Me. Living to your doubt, what we so proudly hear. First three words are liberty or death. Yes. There you go. I'm sensing a pattern with these songs. Yes, there's definitely a pattern. There's not a lot of, like, you know, hopeful. Yeah, uh, this this one is very much a um, don't mess with America or we're going to destroy you. So be it. Settle the score. Touch me again with the words that you will hear. When I first like list started listening to Metallica, I listened to the Black Album over and over again. Yeah. I remember really loving this song. It's a great song. Yeah, but it it literally just def- just defines saying, "Hey, don't f with America, don't tread on me." Yep, it's probably why they called it that. Probably. Yeah. Don't tread on me. Uh, I went for something a little bit weirder, but. It is about America. All right. It's about the American dream. Not Dusty Rhodes. Oh. It was uh, the lead single off of their album Days of Grays. It was one of the songs that really got me back into Sonata after a while. Like, I didn't love Unia when I first heard it. Yeah. Uh, I've grown to appreciate it more, but, like, hearing the song and seeing the video for Flag in the Ground, I remember actually hearing it and finding it again, like, when I was supposed to be studying for finals in college. Nice job. And it did not help. (laughs) I just kept hitting repeat. just took it away from you. Absolutely. I stuck my flag in the ground Screaming and shouting But 
But yeah, the song is about uh, a man who's actually coming to America to make a better life for him and his family, who will eventually come over with him. Yep. And uh, all the imagery is, you know, going across the ocean. It's a hard journey. We're landing in Boston, and we're making our way into the West. It's going to be a, a good time for us. I don't know much about uh, the Finnish journey to America. I don't know if it's much different than any other country. It might be a little different. Yeah. My number two, I went with Pantera Cowboys from Hell. I can I can see that. <laughs> if you think about it, Pantera is basically the Pantera is Southern heavy metal America rock. Yeah, it's basically the quintessential American metal band. Yeah, so. pretty much. And uh, it's the title track off of their debut album. Well, the debut album that they want you to remember. Yes. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not the one with the lion-man hybrid on the front. But yes, Cowboys from Hell, it's pretty much the, sh- the same kind of deal with Don't Tread on Me, uh, Don't Mess With Us, We Will Destroy You type deal. I think it's more of along the lines of like, oh crap, it's these guys again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, I hate to say it, as an American, it can kind of fit. <laughs> yeah, it does. It really does. Oh God, here they come, reach for your gun. <laughs> <laughs> it's America. Yep. We have a checkered history. <laughs> I, uh... I went a little bit more literal with my number one. All right. I put the Star Spangled Banner because I'm an American. (laughs) And because when Iced Earth plays it, it leads into the greatest metal song about America ever, Declaration Day. If you listen to De- Declaration Day and you don't feel that surge of patriotism, you're probably not listening to the same song as we are. <laughs> um, it was the uh, first two tracks combined off of The Glorious Burden, which was an album mostly about American history. Mm-hmm. And uh, the whole sound of the song is just uber patriotic. And with Tim Owens' vocals in the, back, in the backing of it, it's just one of the most incredibly American sounds ever. And it begins and ends with the Star Spangled Banner. I don't know how else to make this point. This is this should be the new national anthem. <laughs> you know what? If Ice Earth is doing the new national anthem, I'm okay with that. And again, keeping with the theme, give me liberty or give me death, yeah. I'll fight till my last yes. breath. Yes. Because apparently all of these songs have to include that. <laughs> give me liberty. All right, I bet you have a guess of what my number one is. Um, American Capitalist by Five Finger Death Punch. Slap yourself in the face for that one. <laughs> Through the gates of hell, as we make our way to heaven. Through the, the Nazi, Nazi lines. lines, Primo Victoria. I should have seen this coming. <laughs> I really should have. It is literally D-Day landing. Yes. It's the Americans landing on Omaha. 6th of June, 1944, when the Allies are joining the war. Yes. The whole song (laughs) is a history lesson. 6th of June, 1944. This goes out to them. Here, here. The greatest generation. Sabaton's Primo Victoria. On the 6th of June, on the shores of Western Europe, and before it born, Primo Victoria. 
So that is our list. If you guys have a suggestion for a list that we're going to do in the future, please hit us up, facebook.com slash the Shred Shack. Let us know what you guys want to hear from us. And uh, we're going to right now pay tribute to America by having everybody stand and rise as Iced Earth plays the Star Spangled Banner. Yeah.